So, uh, everybody, I'm making this video because, once again, my pride for a lot of years got the best of me. What you're looking at here is my 2017 Subaru Impreza that I've had for about four months now. And if you can see, I'm going to zoom in on this tag. Yeah, Carvana. That's where I picked this car up from. What I really wanted to talk more about, not, not Carvana, let me get on camera here and we'll talk, was Subaru itself. I um, have had a lot of Chevys, a lot of Hondas, a lot of Fords, a couple of Nissans now, one Dodge, which was the Dart, and which you don't ever want one of those. Don't ever do it to yourself. You don't want it. You don't want it. But the Subaru. Think Subaru, you think WRX, you think Rally Racing, Hood scoop, freaking scoop on top of the hood, just Travis Pastrana, blah, 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 Ken Block. Yes, that's what you think. But also, you hear a, a common misconception with these cars. They don't handle horsepower, they don't like boost, they blow head gaskets, and they, some of them, some of these are true. Some of these cars are, uh, they had their years where you just don't really want to mess with them, and so did a Honda Civics, and so does the Chevy S10s, and the Chevy Silverados, the Ford Explorers, they've, they've all had their years where they suck, including a lot of the newer ones now. So, people throughout my life don't you don't want a Subaru oh, they've always been all wheel drive like that was always a, a thing that was a good it was good like you want all wheel drive that was who you turned to because there wasn't very many options and you also all wheel drive is more um, they're pricier on on main, maintenance and, and stuff like that you have one tire goes bad you have to replace all four you'll end up messing up transmissions and differentials and stuff like that which you need to look at this situation like this if those are issues for you to stay on top of preventative maintenance and to worry about god forbid if you ruin a tire or whatever you're gonna have to buy three more or if that's a big deal if um staying on top of your maintenance and at miles Re replacing stuff and servicing stuff if that's a, a big deal for you man you really need to stay with something that's completely bulletproof because and I don't know what that is if you don't change the oil you don't flush things out you don't do timing chains you don't do timing belts you don't do pulleys you don't do spark plugs you don't do fuel filters you don't do differential fluid flushes you don't do transmission fluid flushes you don't do these kinds of things, and then you hear people say, oh, I blew head gaskets. Did you put water in it? Did it Did it have coolant in it? Did you service your hoses? Did you check the water pump to make sure it was circulating correctly? Like, how long did you drive on it before it just blew up? And when a vehicle starts getting hot, especially with a Subaru, it throws a light on immediately. You pull over and you deal with it. You don't just keep driving on it. If water's going somewhere and it's not on the ground it's going somewhere if you, by the way if you think you have a blown head gasket check your oil if you're drinking water and coolant check your oil if it's not going on the ground check your oil these preventative maintenance things are like will save you a head full of problems so I ended up picking up this Subaru after listening to all of that shit I drove a, a Legacy, I test drove a Legacy, and I seen how accommodating they were on the inside, and I like I like the Subarus, I like the way that they look inside, and the way that they do their interiors on a lot of their models are really nice, and you feel like you're getting a, a good car for your money, and that's why, ultimately, we needed something all-wheel drive for driving in the snow, good on gas, and reliable. 
I read all the reviews on these 2017s and there was a recall on the headlights and we still have to deal with that but hey there was nothing crazy about this car that was bad in fact people said how nice it drove and how improved it was over the last generation so I had no problem pulling the trigger on this and then in fact after getting this car and I was driving it today and I was like wow this is really pleasant you know it doesn't have gobs of power but it handles it steers beautifully it doesn't wander all over the road it doesn't wear your foot out from up and down with the gas pedal and and um, it's just really a comfortable nice car to drive and I really have no problem saying that it's it's an, it's a good reliable car and if you have one of these or <clears throat> in the same generations you got a good vehicle underneath you but you got to recognize this it doesn't matter if it's an 87 Honda Civic with that gets it's got 400,000 miles on it or it's a brand new 2024 that's got 5 miles on it take care of the shit the same and it'll be for be there for you just the same that 87 will still be running in 23 and you could still have it in the garage and be driving it potentially can't let things just break and then call it the car a piece of shit. Head gaskets pop, people overheat them, heads get warped, things happen. Um, but in the older ones, yes, the head gasket is basically like doing a top end on a two stroke. So just get it out of the way before it becomes a problem. You have a lot of miles, you already had overheating issues, you can say it's, it's assume it's coming again. But timing chains are a huge one. I'm going to be dealing with that here soon. I'm be doing a timing chain and a bunch of other flushes on my car. But this is mine. And I just got some 18-inch inkies and some Yokohamas to put on this. So you guys stay tuned on the channel. This is how I feel about Subaru. They're just like any other manufacturer. They have their years where they're dog shit. And they have their years where they're really, really nice. When you're buying a vehicle, don't just base it off of the looks of the car. You need to do your due diligence and research and look up that model and the one with your package and everything and read some reviews. Go a little bit far and wide and look at some different cars. Don't buy, even if you like that particular model, don't buy the first one you see. I had turned a, a whole nother car away before I told Carvana that we were going to take this and then took f full potential of the seven days to drive it but make sure you're doing your due diligence I researched this car and make sure that it was from a dry region and it wasn't going to be coming to me full of rust and I got it from Arizona and paid a little bit more for it to be shipped here to New England but you don't have rust all over it that's a huge thing and I'm going to make another video talking about that. And I'm from Florida. I'm not used to this shit. So you guys stay tuned. It's really mind-blowing when it comes to the rust here. But you guys stay tuned. Subscribe and like this video. If you like Subarus, let me know in the comments. Thank you.